Boost Breast Milk Enhancer and Lactation Supplement Review 2020. Increase daily milk production up to 86%. Experience results in as little as 24-72 hours. Clinically proven results. Safe and effective. However, there are solutions to help you, which is why we created Boost Milk Enhancer, a natural milk enhancer clinically proven to help increase breast milk production. Many women have experienced an increase as quickly as 24-72 hours. Milk production is a demand and supply process, your baby demands it and you must supply it. Let Boost Milk Enhancer help you stimulate your body's national processes and satisfy your baby naturally. Experience the health and bonding benefits of breastfeeding. Our Milk Enhancer contains a blend of herbs specifically designed to help stimulate milk production naturally so that your baby never goes hungry. At Boost, we believe that milk production should come easy and effortless and be natural, and that's the purpose of our Boost Milk Enhancer. Clinically Proven Results The primary support for Boost ingredients are the galactagog properties of silymarin in pregnant females is derived from a clinical trial conducted in Peru. In this placebo-controlled, blinded prospective trial 50 subjects divided into two groups received either a micronized silymarin at 420 mg per day or placebo. The study was conducted over 63 days, milk 3 production in the control group was significant at both 30 and 60 days. The authors noted it is interesting to consider not only the quantity of produced milk in terms of absolute value but also in percentage the increase for each mother compared to day zero, which was 64.43% in the treated group and 22.51% in the placebo group. Milk production at day 63 was 1,119.24 grams versus 700.56 grams at day zero representing an 86% increase in milk production during the trial. How does IT work? Boost contains silymarin, an active extract of the seeds of Silibum morianum, milk thistle. A standardized extract of the seed contains approximately 70-80% to of silymarin flavonolignans and 20-30% to chemically undefined fraction, comprising mostly polymeric and oxidized polyphenolic compounds. Silymarin is extracted from the fruits of Silibum marianum instead of the seeds, Wu et al., 2007. Silymarin absorption rate levels are between 20 and 50 percent. This poor bioavailability could be attributed to degradation by gastric fluid, poor enteral absorption or its poor water solubility, Osman et al., 2009. Regardless, the efficacy of silymarin as an emerging application in medicine is significant. Gazak. 2007. Silymarin has an excellent safety profile at therapeutic doses and, both alone and associated with standard traditional therapy, Soler R. et al., 2008. Generic Placeholder Image Many factors play a role in the development of breast milk, but after delivery the hormone prolactin is of primary importance to fully stimulate the alveoli for milk production. Milk secretion is primarily controlled by oxytocin which stimulates the myopithelial cells to contract and release stored milk into the ducts, that is, milk letdown. Milk must be ejected from the lumen of the alveoli into the milk ducts to reach the infant. Infant suckling stimulates production of prolactin as well as oxytocin. Milk secretion continues until suckling ends. When all of the milk is released, the breast stimulates additional milk production for the next feeding. This feedback mechanism leads to an overall increase in supply over time. Generic Placeholder Image While the mechanism for influencing milk production through galactigogs may be unclear it is logical to focus on increasing prolactin levels and the effect on the anterior pituitary. Milk secretion can be influenced by other means, but milk production is the issue for mothers unable to completely feed newborns. In clinical research, Outcomes measuring prolactin levels were considered, however, it should be recognized this is still considered an indirect assessment of milk production. Direct assessments of milk volume and infant weight serve as better endpoints in clinical research when assessing effects on lactation. A common thread observed in many ingredients with positive outcomes for milk production is the presence of steroidal substance. 
These are a class of compounds found in plants that may have direct effects upon hormones, such as prolactin, influencing milk production. This component could serve as the focus of a new product for increasing breast milk, but additional research would be recommended to qualify efficacy in silymarin. How do I take IT? The Boost Milk Enhancer is different from other milk enhancers on the market. The herbs are 100% natural and can be easily taken in its capsule form. There's no need to worry about how to get down another cup of bitter tea, and your days of morning sickness are long gone. New busy moms don't have to worry about proper dosages with the Boost Milk Enhancer formula, everything has been calculated for you, and you actually take fewer capsules than other brands. How long do I take high tea? Boost Milk Enhancer can be used short term or long term, it varies based on each mother. We have some mothers that take it for 1-2 weeks to get their milk production up to their desired level and then they ease off of it. We have other mothers that continue on it longer. However, the goal is to get your breast milk level up and then ease off of the capsules. Generic Placeholder Image To get this product link in description with details.